Life happens. Ups and downs, valleys and mountaintops, tragedy, joy, loss, hope. One thing to remember, whether good or bad, is that things can change. Jamaicans are having fewer children, they're working longer, and the retired community represents the fastest growing segment of our population. Mm -hmm. We are talking about pensions. Do we have enough money to maintain our quality of life in retirement? Welcome, Stuart. Welcome. Why do you look so <laughs> calm? And you worry? You worry that you have a lot to tell me? Do you worry? Don't worry about it, Bridget. We have this lock. Anything you tell me, I'm ready for it. Okay, good. Welcome, guys. But before we dive all the way in, let's talk about what is most important to us. Ladies first. What's most important to you, Bridget? What's most important to me mm -hmm. is for me to be able to sustain myself during my retirement years. Mm -hmm. It really is. I mean, we are living longer, and we want to make sure that we have a plan in place, mm -hmm. you know? to secure that much-needed retirement income when we do make it to retirement. Yeah. yeah. And you, Stuart? Uh, I'm going to give a corny, it, a typical it's answer. It's okay. Don't worry <laughs> if you think it's corny. It but somebody um, will I, agree. I just want to make an impact, a positive impact on the country, uh, whether it be on one person or, you know, in a big section of the country, mm -hmm. uh, just to leave the, the Jamaica better than it was before. So you want to be prime minister? I mean, if, if, if you want to give it a work, you know, then. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to give it a work. All right, we're going to start off here. Stuart, in 2018, the Gleaner put out an article and it read, Pension Crisis. Startling figures suggest that Jamaican workers are neglecting to save for the future. Mm -hmm. Less than 10% of Jamaicans have pension coverage, and experts are warning of an old age poverty crisis. So that's telling me that there are the 90% of Jamaica don't know or don't think that it's important to save for retirement? You know, don't I, know they need a pension? I don't know if it is that they don't know. Um, but some people don't have access to it because their employers don't offer pension plans. Okay. And because of that, you find a void. Or they think they don't have access well, to it. Pardon? Or they think they don't have access to it. Well, pension. the truth is everybody has access to it, right? So... Typically, um, a lucky person who is employed to a, a good company like a Sajikor, who, you know, they, they will have a pension plan for the employees, right? Mm -hmm. In a case where the company doesn't provide a pension plan, it would mean that that person would have to go and seek out uh, a solution for themselves. Um, so Sajikor, for instance, has a, a product called Sajikor Lifestyle which is a pension product, which allows people to contribute and save for retirement. So that's like an individual um, like yes, me. Yes, it's, it's an individual, mm -hmm. just who like don't you. don't have who, any kind of you know, consistent nine to five money nail coming tech, in. Nail tech, yeah. barber, Police, anybody who have, have that income. Lock, exactly. So we're talking about the rest of us. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay. So they, they, they have access to it. But a lot of the times, and we, we said it's in insurance, people are sold insurance, right? Mm -hmm. They're not bought by people. Right? Mm. You have to show people the need for it. Mm -hmm. And a pension is a type of insurance, but for your retirement. I haven't really thought about it like that. But I mean, everybody had, oh, we all getting old. I mean, we yeah. don't want to talk about it, mm -hmm. but we can't run from the idea or from yeah. the fact that we are getting older. Yep. And at some point, you're not going to be able to work anymore. Um, like my job, for example, if something happens to me and I'm unable to act anymore or unable to host anymore, God forbid, unable to talk anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it means that I will have to retire and I yeah. will have to have a way out. Bridget, mm -hmm. do you find that a lot of people that you come across don't realize the importance of that kind of pension? Do you know of any other stories? Yes, that's correct. We, I really come across quite a few people Tell us about who something. are not aware you know, that there's a product out there for them to save in this manner for their retirement. We have persons that say, boy, how come I never heard about this before? Mm -hmm. You know? And the truth is the education is not there. You're not taught about it in high school or mm -hmm. at the university level. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you now when you start working, you know, to set aside some money. But as Stuart said, all employers don't offer it. All right, tell me about one specific person. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I came across a client, um, the last audience I had, and they were quite perturbed because they are now 45. Mm. And of course, retirement is knocking on the door. Because you can Stop retire so. here in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the, the no. truth is, re the retirement age here in Jamaica is anywhere between 60 and 65. Oh, praise God. So at 45 mm -hmm. to 50 now, that's when most people, unfortunately, start thinking about it. Yeah. You know, and it's not that it's too late, because in some cases, I still have 15 years to save. Yeah. You know, but to replace the income that you desire at retirement now will be a challenge if mm. you start later. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm hmm so, so when, the, the, when the reality hits now, they're right. like, but I need to save that amount of money, <laughs> you know, in order to get something decent at retirement. And then to everybody, what is decent? Yeah. Decent you know, if you look at being able to be comfortable. But I what think. are you comfortable with? You know, people want to step out of a job and step into retirement at the same income level. Yeah. Because the truth is our bills don't retire with us. Exactly. Enough. So when we step into retirement now, we still have what? Bills yes. to pay. We can't tell JP so we Exactly. So we have light, water, cable. Food and what Jamaican people can't do without? Food. Oh. Phone. <laughs> phone. <laughs> the phone. Did you sell? That's right. <laughs> We're still oh going to have our phone bills, right? Definitely, yeah. definitely. Which leads me to the next one. It's a yeah. natural question. Yeah. How early should I start saving for my pension? No, 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 no. Don't wait. Don't wait. Well, I would, say, yeah. Yeah, I would say from your first job, if you can. So for those younger people now leaving university, I would say start now at your first job. It may not be a priority because, you know, young people will say, boy, we have our students' loans to pay off. Yeah. You know, some are starting a family. But just think about setting aside an amount that you're comfortable living without. You can always add on to it mm -hmm. and save more as you go along. Right. Right now, the maximum you can put in a pension plan is 20% of your salary in any one year. So you can start okay. with as low as one thousand to five thousand dollars a month. And this is this is me, Sakina, yes, because that's I specifically you, Sakina. don't have any um set financial. Yeah. That's right. Correct. You right. are an individual, you're working, you're not a part of a company, meaning you're not a part of a company a sponsored thing. pension arrangement. So right. you would take out your own individual retirement product. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be based on whatever salary you declare each year. Okay. And then you just take out that little much yes. and you put it in and a you little set it account. aside. Yep. As to what and it will grow. You look like you did a pension from <laughs> your bond. Like, from your bond, you're like, hmm, I need to start thinking about how much money I'm going to have when I'm 60. But, but how was your journey into having a pension? Um, okay. My mother, both my parents were bankers, mm -hmm. right? See, then, so you? Um, my mother instilled a great sense of um, saving in, in, um, throughout my childhood. Mm -hmm. I got my lunch money for the month and I had to budget it out. For the month? Yes, for the as month. As a child? For, uh, as a child. In <laughs> high school. In high school. I used to sell sweetie, actually. Me too. <laughs> Don't tell anybody that because school might... Yeah, <laughs> I mean... Yeah, we can cut that. But anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was actually one of the lucky ones because I did a summer internship with Sajikor. Oh. And Sajik, I landed in the pensions department in EBA. And that's where I learned about pensions and the importance of saving early. So yes, I was lucky in the sense that I got exposed to it very early. Knowledge. Yeah, and the truth is, I look at my peers, and a lot of my peers are doctors now. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, I speak to my peers on a daily basis, and pension is like Hebrew to them. Wow. Insurance is like Hebrew to them. You understand? It's not is it something that they think, think that about. They earn a certain amount. All right, like no. I'm that person. I'm a doctor, and I earn that kind of money. I can save this amount of money. I save properly, so I don't need a pension. I, d I don't think so. I think th there's no focus of it in school. Like, you you're not prepared. A lot of people aren't prepared for a salary when they leave from university and they start working. They're not prepared with making uh, decisions that no, will set okay. them up for a better future. So it's, I think, personally, I think it's something that people just don't know and they don't think about it until maybe it's too late. Mm, that's so crazy. Yeah. Mm. I never thought about, I, I didn't think about it. So I can't fault anybody for saying that. I mean, I just had the conversation with my mother about how much money she must take out of her money because I said to her, you know, say five is not enough. Five, five percent. <laughs> it's like, I said, multiply that by 12 and then divide it by how many months you think you're going to yeah. live after that? Do you think that's enough? And that brings me to the next question. We're mm -hmm. going to talk about some numbers yeah. because when we think about pension, you say, okay, 
I have insurance with my company that I work for, mm -hmm. and them taking out pension. Or every time you see a pension, you see this because something come out and it say pension. So mm -hmm. you think you're taken care of, right, Bridge? That's right. Why is that not enough? Or what kind of numbers do I need to make sure I put aside so that when that time comes and I say, all right, I'm done, she's grown, I'm off, I'm going to go on a cruise, my pension can cover it. Right. She ready. You see it? Yeah. 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 She's like, yeah, if no, I can tell you. Is there bread and butter this year? Yeah. Um, no. The reality is that if, let's say, a 65-year-old today that wants to retire, mm -hmm. in order for them to earn an income of at least $1 million a year, they would have had to have saved $9 million. Come again? That's right. With Ulan. And that's a harsh reality because what we have now is that we have persons saving for retirement and they may be doing just the bare minimum. So, so they decide that they're going to set aside $5,000. And, you know, they're getting the statements, but they're not paying attention to it. Because, you know, us here in Jamaica, if it's money that we see and we can't touch, yeah. we're not interested until we can that do is it, true. right? So we just set it aside. Mm -hmm. We don't pay much attention. Mm -hmm. But we need to. Because we do have people, the smaller percent, maybe, but we do have persons saving for retirement. But they really need to know what is enough, yeah. you know? What can I live on when I get to retirement? Yeah. So if you want to receive, as I said, at least a million dollars at retirement and you're a female at 65 retiring today, mm -hmm. you needed to have saved at least a minimum of $9 million. Have you ever come across somebody who in that mo is in that scenario and they're like, okay, I'm done and I need to get my pension now and they find out that it's not enough? Yes. Tell me about that. Yes, yes. We have quite a few. And they said, that's all, but I've been doing this for a long time. But you see, what happens here in Jamaica as well is that with our, I would say, superannuation funds, Superannuation plans. What does that mean? Lisa? Okay. <laughs> that's a pension. That's really the employer pension arrangement in Jamaica. Right. The superannuation the fund. Yes, but right. it's the employer offered arrangement, not okay. the individual one I'm okay. speaking of. Okay. So we have quite a few people that join that arrangement because mm -hmm. if you join a company and that arrangement is in place, mm -hmm. it's a condition of employment that you join the pension plan if you're a permanent employee. Right. What happens now if you stay at that company for five years right. and then you decide to leave and move on? Yeah. You have the option to either get back a refund of your contributions or to leave it in the plan. Now, what do you think most Jamaican Them people take do? the money? Of course. Me here, people take the of money. Of course. Yep. They're going to take the money. So then, and if you keep. Because there's nothing that's right. To take it back. Well, there is something called vesting. So if you stay with the company, and most plans in Jamaica, I would say, is a five year vesting. But if mm -hmm. you stay with the company for a minimum of five years, mm -hmm. then you will receive the contributions that the employer has put into the plan for you. Wow. All right? So they leave and take back theirs and they're like, it's okay because I have some employer money. So let that ride until right. I get to retirement. Okay. But if you continue to do that job after job after job, when you get to retirement, you're not going to have anything meaningful. Not it would just be some employer contributions left in each of those plans yeah. that have and accumulated with interest. If you keep pulling out, then you won't have enough at retirement. Oh so that's goodness. a re start reality, I think, for most people. Start oh. reality. Stuart, I know your grandmother is retired. Mm. How did her pension story turn out? Um, not, not the greatest. Mm. And the truth is, at, at back when she had retired, um, the pension uh, legislation wasn't that um, advanced as it is now. And th there are less, there are a lot of um, plans with conditional vesting rules and Bridge touched yeah. on that. Mm -hmm. So if you pull your contributions, then you would have lost your employer contributions. Oh. And I, I believe she would have... have uh, fall into, into that bucket mm. so so yeah the, the, so her starting pension wasn't that great yeah. and you do find that i mean she's been blessed to live so long and you do find that you know the longer that you live the the less meaningful the pension becomes if you you know you don't get a top up so uh yeah it is and but that the, the truth is it's a harsh reality for a lot of people mm -hmm. a lot of people um would have either pulled their own contributions, mm -hmm. right, and disturb the process of compounding. And what Warren out Buffett, of need, really. yeah, they're like, oh, mm -hmm. I need uh, yeah, it now. They, they, sometimes it's out of need, whether real or perceived. <laughs> um, but yes, it happens, and you disturb the whole process of compounding, and it, it leaves you starting back at zero at a later age. So, but that's a reality that we face in Jamaica, and it's an attitude that we need to change. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I remember we, we were talking and you, you mentioned that, you know, you have some peers that are doctors and they are the people that people think nobody has to worry about. Mm. Because, as I said, I'm OK. I have a great job yeah. making good money. I save properly. Why do I need to contribute to a pension plan? Why? Because 
All right, and I use this with a lot of different people, right? Um, think of somebody wealthy. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, no, I'm a You have somebody in your head. Think of them. They're wealthy, right? Yeah. You think that they have all the wealth stored up in just one single place? No, I don't no? think so. They would typically have maybe, you know, a, a private business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They might have some stocks. Yeah. Uh, some investments. They yeah. might have some cash in the bank. They might yeah. have a, a, a car, some real estate. Yeah. Cars, yes. Yeah, no, real, no, estate. real estate. Part, but the fact, that what it. I'm trying to build to you, uh, put to you, is that they have a diversified yeah. uh, portfolio, um, you know, for the wealth. They have a little bit of money everywhere. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think in terms of pension, I think it is very good because what it does, it, it adds a different element to um, your whole, your wealth, mm -hmm. in the sense that when you, when you retire, you get an annuity. An annuity is really a guaranteed stream of payments for the rest of your lifetime. Yeah. Okay. And what that does is that guarantees you, no matter what, you could live to 102. 102. Mm -hmm. You're guaranteed to get that stream of payments for the Whereas rest of your life. Whereas my little money, the rich yes. man's little money could have run out. Yeah, all right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I get So you. it adds a, a good, a good um, element to a, a nice retirement portfolio, right? Yeah. Because it gives you that protection. So you're saying that there are people out there now who in a big job and who don't have no pension because... Yeah, they're, they're just not part of a pension plan with the company or they didn't take out one... Um, or they're contract workers. Or they're a contract worker. Like a lot worker, of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. <laughs> so yeah. that's, a, that's a nice way to make sure you know that you're, you need to get yourself on an individual plan. Yep. And I think a lot of people are pretty bad at, you know, making certain assumptions, you know. Yeah. Nobody knows how long, you know how long you're going to live? No. I wish I did. but no. I wish I knew. <laughs> I mean, we know on average how long so one person might live to 100 and another one one might live until 70 mm -hmm. you know god forbid but no one person can really tell how long they will live mm -hmm. and as humans we're pretty bad at you know budgeting that that how much money we need for stop a certain amount of up, time Stuart, stop dreaming <laughs> <Just, laughs> sure. right so it's very important that we, we have this pension conversation because it 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 protects you yeah, right? it's it offers some protection. Yeah. And as I said, it's insurance in retirement. That's nice. Yeah. All right, let's go to the completely opposite mm. end of the yeah. spectrum. You tell us about the rich people. Tell us about me. Like, I, my pay is, it's all over the place. It's contractual. Yeah. It's up this time, it's down this time, it's over mm -hmm. this time. Or the Christmas come and I'm a nail tech and I get enough money. I, I do lashes. Mm -hmm. When Christmas come, everybody wants a set of lashes. Because yes, why? So. Ooh, we look pretty. Mm -hmm. And so you get a chunk of money in Christmas. Yeah. But then January come. Nobody don't have the money to spend. That's the last thing anybody thinks mm -hmm. about. I am not covered under a group plan. Do I still need to think well, about a pension? Of course. When I don't have it to take it out of or when I don't think I don't have it no, to take well, it out of? No, well, the thing about is that if you were to set up your individual pension arrangement, mm -hmm. right, it's extremely flexible. Yeah. Look, we understand that the education isn't there. So we do have a lot of Jamaicans that are in a position now where they have not started saving for their retirement. And it's okay. You can start now. You know? Don't feel that, oh, this is the end of the road for me. I'm 40, I'm 45, I'm 50. What you know, I have. 60? Even if you're 60, because you can go up to 65 and in some plans, even 70. So you still have 10 years. So okay. all is not lost if you're 60. Right. It's just dependent on your salary and how much you can afford to put in, knowing that the maximum is 20% of your right. salary in any one year. Right. But the idea is to start now. Let's say you're a nail technician, as you said. And I, I mean, a, a, lash a lash, sorry, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> a lash technician. Okay. And so you find, you tend to get a higher salary during the Christmas season or whatever your peak holiday season time. is, the holiday time. time. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you increase your contributions during that time. So let's say you start off with maybe 10 or 15% of your like salary. Yes. This time and then it go back down. And then Absolutely. Go, oh, stop it. I never know that. Absolutely. In an approved retirement scheme, you can change your contribution rate. You I'm certainly sure. can from time to time based on your situation and what's happening to you at that particular time. Really? You could start off with 20% and then you get married, you have children, you have to cut back down to 15. Yeah, it's not a problem. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, you have to buy diapers and formula, <laughs> right? So we're saying don't stop, just, just cut back. Down a little. That's right. I didn't even know and that. And then when you're in a position to increase again, then you yeah, increase. Push it back up. Mm. Oh my so goodness. it's quite flexible. Yeah, it's flexible. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. 
all of this is said, all of this is done. People are aware. Now, this is how I need, I need to go out and get my pension sorted out. What do I do? How do I get it done? Call Sajikor. <laughs> and I remember, I, I know that this is something Bridget said. The longer you live, is the longer you're going to live. Aye. Explain right. that to me. The longer you live, is the longer you're going to live. Yes. So if you actually get to 65, mm -hmm. you have a 30% 30, 30 I would say probability of making it to 83 if you're That'd a female. Foolishness. Right? <laughs> and that's a long time to be in retirement and worse without time to earning without an money. income. But that is it too. Because when you speak to, when I go out and I speak to people, I find that it's rough for them now to survive on what they're getting. Man. So I have to remind them, how are you going to survive when you get to that stage and age of your mm -hmm. life when you're no longer working and earning? And you have no money coming in. Mm -hmm. If you can't manage what you have now. Right. And the truth is, you know, we don't just pop down when we get to 65. It's not like the world is over. Yeah. But we do slow down. Right. right? And so maybe Girl, we I'm have an illness. No, but maybe we have an illness, right? <laughs> We're going into retirement with an illness. You know, you're aging and we have to accept that. Yeah. So you would go to the doctor previously and you get one bottle of antibiotics and it works. No, you might need two and three. So yeah. you're going to see that the medical expenses will go up as well. Go up as well. Yeah. Massive. So we just need to think about these things, you know, and plan for it. Because the truth is that we are living longer and most of us will probably make it to retirement. Yeah. You know, gone are the days when they say, boy, I'm not going to make it to 65. Mm. So that's old people. Mm -hmm. Another thing that people say in Jamaica is when I get to that stage or when I reach the bridge and cross it at that time, then I'll deal with pension. Pension is old people thing. A mm -hmm. lot of Jamaicans think that. Yeah. The business of retirement planning, you know, is for old people. But if we, if we wait till we're old to save, what we're going to have? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely. You know, so we have to start when we're younger. That is a yeah. very good point. And I remember something Stuart said when we were talking earlier and Stuart kind of worked it out for me in a way that it kind of clicked. Something clicked in my head because 5% of your salary no, no. <laughs> and that will never leave me well, i'm telling you five percent of your salary no when you think about inflation how much is a party when we're right, going exactly. to school as opposed to how much is a party no tell, tell you have a sense to it because mm -hmm. if it stick with me i'm sure no i mean I, and it goes back to the point of people being unable to really have a good idea of what they need to save right mm -hmm. back when i was going to school a party was twenty dollars yeah i won't tell you how much it was right. <laughs> Well, I, I, maybe I'm giving away my age now, right? But back when I, I was going to school, our party was $20. Mm -hmm. I can't take $20 and buy... Not even this Not strong, even an ice cream right? Our right? Right? Mm -hmm. party is about $150. $170. $170. $200. Okay. And then good. it's going up, right? <laughs> yeah. Which, which shows you that, what, over a, what, 20, 15-year period, mm -hmm. that it has increased nearly tenfold. Jeez, some peace. I'm going to tell you a party. Now, about 1995 was 100 and was what? You could get a dozen parties, I think, well, in 1995 for $180. No, yes. Lord. That's right. Yeah. And now you're paying $200 for Two one, one party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and this is why we have to frame now you know, how much mm -hmm. we contribute now in terms of outcomes, right? right? People understand outcomes. You tell a man to contribute 5%, right? Then you know the type of um destiny for lack of a better word that you're gonna have at retirement it's mm -hmm. it's not gonna be your current um lifestyle yeah it means that you'll be probably able to pay uh the light bill you yeah. might be able to pay the internet bill and, then that's it. and have a little mm -hmm. food right every time the internet yeah. is gonna be like standing right. in front of you you're walking the tv so that can't even pay right? it. <laughs> you, you go ten percent then okay you might be able to um go to the movie one time you know one time for for Beer. a month <laughs> <laughs> you know you go for extra five percent you have 50 no no you you you're there about your, your usual lifestyle you can you know you can go country you can go negril for a, a weekend, a weekend yeah. once a year you take a nice little vacation you go for extra 20 percent no you can extra take five, a little flight no, uh, five, sorry you, you go <laughs> extra <laughs> five sorry say 20. I, I was thinking 20 of the limit <laughs> i was thinking of the limit 20 you know you 20 go up to the maximum. limit and you have yeah. 20 percent, which is the maximum now okay well you can take your one flight for the year yeah and you can do mm. your look at shopping and you can come back and you can show people where you buy yeah. right but <laughs> but if we think about the outcomes like that then you have to know in yourself what what kind of outcome you want, yeah. right? 
And it's important that you, you think about it now and you, you be real with yourself and have these real conversations and you decide what type of destiny because it's in your hands. That's right. So we know that pension is important for protecting us when it is that we slow down, when we get old mm -hmm. and when we can't do it anymore. But what about benefits? Is there anything I get other than just the source of pension? Oh, absolutely. And I think the number one benefit is that, is that it's a tax-free benefit. To save in a pension plan means that you're not paying the government tax. Who Ooh, doesn't want to... Wait, wait, wait. So if I take yeah. out 20... <laughs> Stop laughing, that's true. No, seriously. So if I take out 20... Yes. Why are you laughing after me for? I'm no, trying to find a way like, number one yeah. to, to, to work with the taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If I take out 20% of my salary, whatever that salary is, mm -hmm. and I put it into pension, that means that you can't tax the 20%. That it's government tax can't. free, absolutely not. And guess what? The interest earned is also tax deferred. See, dear. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you will find the money growing at a faster rate. Wow. Yes. So how compound can interest notice? over time without having to pay tax on it. That's yes. how the rich people get rich. You understand? That's how you accumulate wealth. That's right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And, and then, so we need to take oh. advantage of it yeah. because so. really, it's the only true tax-free savings instrument that we have in Jamaica. Saving plan. in a pension plan, yeah. Wow. Yep. That's mm -hmm. nice. Anything else I can get? Because yeah, I mean, right now I'm all about what I can get. <laughs> As Bridge says, pension is the most tax-efficient way to save for retirement, hands mm -hmm. down. That, that's how it's built, right? right? It's, it's a promise from the government to say that contribute to your pension, you reduce your taxes, your money accumulates without taxes until retirement. So they really yeah? want you to So they want you. It's an incentive, okay. right? Uh, then secondly, what I would say as well is that your pension rights, so your pension benefits are not assignable, which means that... What is that? Yeah. So le let me break it down. Mm -hmm, so if please. you have a, a loan, mm -hmm. you cannot, or, or anything, whether a mortgage or a, or a car loan or anything like that, you cannot assign or your creditors cannot come after your pension benefits. Okay. Right? So if it, look at no matter yeah. how much money you owe there, they can't touch the money they out cannot of the pension touch it. plan. So in mm -hmm. other words, if things pop down mm -hmm. and life happens and everything goes all the way to you know where and comes back, and I have zero left, and them say, Look here now, we're coming for the house and the car, and mm -hmm. we know some of the little money we may hide with my pension, they can't touch that. It, the truth is, it depends now. I mean, we get kind of messy because it depends now how things are phrased within certain documents. Okay. And it might be a legal implica uh, legal thing mm -hmm. uh, in terms of interpretation. Right. But generally, you cannot assign... You cannot mm -hmm. assign a pension benefit to a creditor. You can't assign it to a bank. Mm -hmm. Anybody okay. who you owe money, you generally. You are giving me things to think about. Yeah. Because it means that, you know, <clears throat> the pension money I forgot got up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it has that a little bit of protection. And, and the truth is, I would go a step further. A third benefit mm -hmm. of having a pension is that it, you can't touch it. You it, personally. You, like while me. you're contributing, you can't touch it. Right. Especially with the indiv individual retirement schemes, they, you don't have the liberty to come knocking and say, hey, I want the money. Um, out of my Come account. No, pay for this. no. Right. There are it's rules yeah. that dictate when you can withdraw those monies. Right, you have to be within normal reti uh, early retirement age, which is ten years before actual normal retirement. So I have to be fifty-five. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So before yeah. I can have any access exactly. to any of the money exactly. that I have saved prior. Exactly. Right. Or if you're retiring at sixty, then fifty. Okay. Ten yep. years before the normal retirement age. Yep. Which gives you then that extra protection in knowing that you're saving from yourself. From yourself. You're saving. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was just about to say that's protecting me. Saving from you from yourself, saving, so you can't touch yes. your money. And that you know, for people like me, that's very good. Yeah, and we are our biggest enemies sometimes. That is true. Yeah, mm, that is very true. Guys, thank you for all the insight. No I know problem. that we've definitely gotten through to somebody. Nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> are you covered? If you would like someone to reach out to you to help you just to protect what matters to you most, just visit sagicor.com backslash life happens. Thank you for joining us. And of course, we will see you on the next episode of Life Happens. Until then, one contribute to your pension, our old age, must happen.